Yeah. From, uh, Lagos. Are you Aruba? Lagos, we happy to see you now. Yes. Eh, we happy to see you now. Eh, Paza no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. How are you, my brother? Yo, what up? I'm Yo, doing great. I'm doing up? great. How you guys doing? Man, we're doing good. How how Man, do they greet you? Doing good. Language. How how do they greet you? <laughs> okay, so kilo shell go go. What's up? That's that's what's up. Okay. Yes, I am lost. Anyway, Timmy, yes, good to have you on anyway, the show. Uh, Timmy, good to have you on the, the show. Uh, you are already in live on the gang as in yeah, the gang. So kindly, yeah. please greet yeah. our yeah, people. Yeah, so kindly, please tell greet our people to and win. tell them how and to yeah. win. And yeah. All right, what's up? What's up, my family in Uganda? My name is Timmy Phoenix, and it's an honor being live with you guys on TV. Show you guys are all doing great and staying safe. Yeah, man. That, that, that's yeah, wonderful. Man. Uh, that, that, that's just wonderful. Let, uh, straight, just you know, let, we've waited for you. We've straight, been excited you know, we've the entire week. We've been excited and the entire week. And now we have you. And now we have you. <laughs> yeah, so we just want people exactly, to get yeah, to know you. Yeah, so we just you. want people to get um, to know you. Uh, basically um, about music. Uh, basically is about what music. Because Jene, that is what we are more interested in. Who is Timmy? Timmy. Uh, we know you use Timmy Phoenix, but we want to know what are the real names of Timmy and how is his music journey, like where did he start from and to where we are. I'll just be, my name is Timmy, the full meaning of, my name is Oluwa Simile Joseph or Tech Bio. And, um, from Nigeria, Western Africa, Nigeria. I'm based in Lagos, and I've been into music for a while. I'll just say, dig it now, like ten years now. Uh, gospel music minister, a songwriter, uh, a producer, and an entrepreneur. So, basically, I am a worshiper and a singer at the same time so we are so blessed to have you we are uh, so blessed to have you, know, you. Uh, because um, of time you... we really but you know you have a beautiful song that you released i was fighting with the word i'll i'll gabra <laughs> don't laugh but anyway i i just like the way you guys you know have a way with your the way you speak uh, I know when we were talking, I was also trying to act like I'm Nigerian and, and doing those things of waiting. Now, waiting, we go splash you now. See, Jui, what? <laughs> you know, we keep watching the movies and we're like, are they dramatic like that? Are they naturally like that? Or it, it's just a drama thing that people actually do? People actually do. No, being a Nigerian is actually a very interesting thing, you know. We're happy people, we're people with vibes, what's the vibes and all that. So for me, I would say being a Nigerian is just being you, being original and being black. Nevertheless, we're all one, you know, we just want happy people. Africans are generally happy people. They're people full of love and joy, you know, so. So I, and I'll help you with the pronunciation of the name you're trying to call is Alagbaranla. So, I hope you try that again. Let's see if you go. <laughs> but don't worry, we are going to get there. By, by the time the end of this, uh, by, by the time of the interview, I'm going to try and pronounce. Because now you're the teacher, you're here. So we are with you, we have the privilege. Uh, how many years have you spent in the music industry, the gospel music industry? Music industry. Officially, I started music in 2011, so this is like my 10th year. This is my 10th year officially. started making music in, from 2011. Though I started off as an instrumentalist, I started playing the acoustic guitar. So over time, I, I grew and became a musician. I discovered I could also sing, so, and I could write, I could do so many things. 
and I've been doing that. You know, so let me just say 10 years also. I've been doing music for 10 years. From the, um, from you the, know, crossing from church, playing instruments, writing, and then coming to a recording artist that we are seeing right now. Because when we look at what we usually look at to probably when we are looking for music, that's the YouTube channel. And we look that uh, we see that you have released, uh, let's say, three years. And here you are, you're telling us 10, 10 good years. Wow. Uh, uh, how do you come? How is that process? For you to say, you know what, not church, not just the instruments. I am bigger than this. I need to do something way. And then you come to recording, giving us sweet melodies that we are, you know, enjoying. How do you get there? I, I actually, I, I believe that in everything in life, just aside, aside the music thing, we actually grow through phases in it. Like we grow through the process. We learn more every day. We get better every day. So... Starting in 2011 for me, I wasn't that, I was learning. I would say that was like the early stage of my music. I said I learned quite a number of things. So down the years, I've been able to master and master the ministry, understand what it takes to be a true minister. Because I, I call, there is a face where we call gospel minister and there's a face where we call the gospel artist. And there's another phase where you have both, where you have a gospel minister, but yet is artistic in his work. So that's been that's what um, in um, in the book of Psalms they refer to skillful musicians. You know, they said David had skillful musician. He was a psalmist, but he had skillful musician. So being skillful in our days is being artistic, like they say. So from 2011 till now. I grew from just being a man with skills to being a musician with substance, with with content, words, as a seasoned gospel musician. So it's not been, um, uh, it's been an interesting journey. I won't say it's not interesting, but it's not like I, I actually planned every stage of it. It's been... Uh, a learning process at every point for me. Just before you take us through it, Just before um, you take us uh, through it, are um, you uh, 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 standing alone? We love calling it management, right? Yeah, I don't know how it goes there for Nigeria, but you know, artists with a brand, with management, uh, you know way there and then those that are independent we look at you know they're the ones trying to hustle their way for people to get to know their talent but we were shocked some time back when we had someone and they were like no 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 it's not all about management this and that someone needs to work so that they can actually learn themselves before they attract people to come and manage them they must have put up a big brand and you so i don't know when it comes to your case how how is you the music are you standing alone or do you have a team with you or management yeah i would say i have a team i have a team i'm not signed i'm not signed under any major label if i'm to say i'm an independent artist in the right words like if i don't know if i'm to say i'm independent but i have a team that i work with i have uh, over the years, I've been working with a couple of people and together we've been able to build a brand. All right, let's run straight back to our artist. And uh, Speaking of, uh, you are still teaching me how to pronounce... <laughs> Alag, Alag brand. Please just pronounce it and tell me what this song is. And, um, it's pronounced yeah. Alag Baranla. It, it is? Alag Baranla. And it means the strong and mighty one. God Almighty. <laughs> You're there. You're almost there. You have to try the game. I'm almost there. The more yeah. you keep saying it, we will get to learn it. You say exactly. Song is called? 
Alagbara nla. Alagbara na. Alagbara nla. La 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 like the rainy part of that picture. La. <laughs> You'll just be in the private <laughs> after the show, but for now I'm sure yeah. uh, the viewers are way more, you know, sharp than I am. So they got you. Please tell us what the song is about. How do you come with this beautiful story? We are seeing the video is, you know, it's also on point. Yeah. And yeah, we can continue. So, all right. Um, basically, the song is the strong and mighty God. That's the almighty one. That's... The song talks about the love of God for we humans. It talks about the love of God for his children, you know. In the verse, you know, talking about God's love for us, he sent his only son to die for us. He gave he gave us he gave us love by showing us example in every way, you know. He gave us love by, you know, sending the son to die for us so the song basically is talking about the love of god and the fellowship that he has given to us even after his son had left the the the, the oneness that christ brought to the body of or the body that's the church you know initially in in the orthodox way they believe that um for you to access God, you have to go through the priest, you have to go there, which is still there, but you know, Christ came and brought God in us. You know, he is God living in us. His death actually unifies us with the Father. And that's basically all that the song is about. The song is talking about the love of God. It's talking about the the, the sacrifice he gave just to have us with him as his children and relationship. So basically, this song is exalting God at the same time defining what he meant by love when he gave his son, basically. Wow, amazing. Uh, just before I ask you to do a cappella, how many artists do you know? Any Ugandan artists that you know? Because, you know, you're on a Ugandan channel and we are wondering, do you know us? How is our music doing over in Nigeria? Yeah. If I was to call a name. Yeah, mention just like one, at least a big. Now it's in, we want to think <laughs> that you know us somehow. A little bit now. So I will say DJ Louder. Hey, is that, I, okay. know, I know, I know, I know, uh, yeah, I know, um, Vus, is it Vus, Vasi? I, I don't know how to pronounce the name. <laughs> you need to find Vine. out more. We have, meanwhile, very interesting talents that you get to, you'd get in touch with now that you've not but, mentioned names. But I love the sound. I doubt you have any collaboration I love with a Ugandan artist. I'm going to do that this year, definitely, definitely okay. around that. Okay, we cannot wait. I'm looking you know, forward to it. We, we are also looking forward to that. Uh, your last remarks to the people watching you, something you would want them to know uh, from Timmy Phoenix and how they can reach you, where they can get your music from, and right there. Okay, so... My, my, my music's are online on all digital platforms. That's on the general digital platforms worldwide on iTunes, Spotify, and it's also on YouTube. But, um, uh, the videos also and album and all that, they're available on. So, um, are you there? We, we are looking forward to have you here, but uh, because of time, just give us a cappella and we will. You've not given any word to the people watching you. What you want to leave them as Timmy, some encouragement for a young artist out there who is watching you now and probably they want to be like you. Yeah, you see, okay, that's I didn't get that because of the network. I don't know if that went over some point. He, he didn't get the question. 
I was just saying, your yes, remarks, yeah. like a word of encouragement, a word of encouragement to someone watching you. Okay, so basically, he wants to say something is what so to about don't uh, give up on your dreams don't give up on your goals because you think um it's not um accepted don't limit yourself a go-getter you can be anything you can go to any height and above all when i say you can be anything you can be anything in christ jesus because he is the alpha and the omega I knew what I was before I started working for God. And when I started working for God, I had total transformation in my finances, in my business, in my career. I, I had purpose. I found purpose. So first, and make sure your will is in sync with his. Secondly, you have to be persistent. Thirdly, you have to be a go-getter. Don't really make everything work in life. Once you're consistent at what you're doing, you get people blessed. watching when people are not watching. You know? So. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you for humbling us today. Uh, just before we go into your song, uh, it was nice having you. We cannot wait to have you in Uganda when you have done those collaborations and we have you in our studios. This is your home. You can always count on us. Otherwise, thank you so much.